the seventh question is, who is your favourite fish tuber? Uh, sorry, Aquamate, but it's got to be one of the uh, saltwater YouTubers. So my channel name is Aquariums Down Under and I'm from uh, Western Australia so the opposite side to all the other fish YouTubers um, apart from Perth cichlids. So my channel is about uh, it goes about what's happening with um, this tank which is a Aquan Acre 300 um, and all the upgrades I've made, like all the new corals, I get a new coral every couple of weeks. Um, if I've made got any new equipment on it, just everything's happening with my tank. Um, I keep saltwater fish. Uh, at the moment, I've got six in this tank. I had seven, but one of them um, died from being bullied by all the other fish and eventually he's died of stress. Uh, so the fish I keep at the moment, uh, this fish here, which is a happy moment rabbit fish. This one here, which is a Melanorus ras. This uh, one here, that is a two spot bristle tooth tang. Uh, this yellow one up here is called a yellow chorus ras or a banana ras. This one over here is a soaring hawkfish or a liartail hawkfish. They have a few different names. And I've got one that hides in that little cave down there. Um, and that one's called, you can't see it at the moment, but it's called a, a scissor tail goby or scissor tail um, dartfish. Um, and I also keep lots of corals um, and minimal fish. So I'd really like a, to keep a ruby um, man, oh no, a ruby scooter blenny or ruby dragonette. They're the same fish, just different names. Because um, I just really like the look of them and like I don't know what it is about them, but I really like them. But they need um, really established tanks with lots of cover pods, which are like the little um, crustaceans that live all throughout the tank. Because most ruby dragonettes only eat. Uh, live copepods. Um, so I'd love to keep one of them and also love to keep a uh, Desjardini sailfin tank um, which looks amazing but they get massive. So I had an old tank, it was a Red Sea Max 130 and um, so with this tank here all the filtration is, is is in this little tank below, but with the Raid C Max, uh, the filtration is a compartment that goes along the whole back of the tank, and all the filtration is in there. Um, so with that tank, I had a fire goby or a um, fire dartfish. Uh, the uh, same thing, same fish, a different name, but. Um, so they like to jump a lot and between the, there's a gap between the lid and the compartment in the back of the tank, about that much, so only a centimetre or two, um, so it's a pretty tiny gap and it, and so one day, look at my tank, couldn't see the fish anywhere and because um, they like to hide in caves a lot, uh, so I was like, oh, it's probably hiding in the cave. Next day, still couldn't see it, I started to get suspicious. I just kept started looking everywhere. I looked in the back of the tank, even couldn't find it. And then I decided, um, like maybe a week later, I'll, I'll give it another shot just to be safe um, checking. And sure enough, took everything back out um, out of the back of my tank and was hiding right under the protein skimmer. And um, it must have been missing for about two weeks. Uh, so it would have survived all the little bits of food 
that had been sucked over the overflow into the back compartment of the tank. Um, and it was a pain to get out because the compartment's probably only 10 centimeters wide. Uh, so it's a pretty small compartment that it was in. So I like being a YouTuber because you get to talk with all the other, um, like other people on YouTube and um, you know fun with them and also it keeps um, me motivated to clean my tank and all that because um, you because it might ask me to clean my tank because I don't want my tank looking dirty for when I put a YouTube video up. Uh, sorry, Aquamate, but it's got to be one of the uh, saltwater YouTubers. Um, probably either um, Sam Parker from Parker's Reef, which is an Australian YouTuber um, over in Melbourne, or or maybe one of the or one of the American ones. They're all pretty good in America as well. Don't neglect your tank. Um, I've done it multiple times in the past and it never turns out good. Uh, old, with freshwater tanks, it leads to algae. Saltwater tanks, it leads to coral dying. All your parameters have been way off. Like in my old tank, I'd neglected it. The salinity got to 1.040. Um, where it should be at 1.025 or 0.026 um, so it's way higher than it should have been and the salinity, um, if you don't know, is the amount of salt in the water so it was way higher than it should have been this really quickly while he's out this, this is the tail dark fish here that I was talking about earlier if you haven't already, go like uh, this video you're watching right now um, so I think you should subscribe to my channel and everyone else's channel in this um, in the video uh, if you want to learn more about fish tanks. Uh, my channel, especially if you want to learn about saltwater fish tanks and how to keep coral and all that. And if you want to listen to me ramble on for 20 minutes in each video.